got a white shark coming on my right over here. Big female with a large bite out of her. If you look over here, she's actually coming under me right now. This is our 23rd year. Uh, the network is 25 years old, so certainly there's something about sharks that really fascinates us uh, as human beings. A huge bite just behind a dorsal fin. A lot of that, I believe, is the sense of the unknown. But we're not really graceful creatures in the water. We're always wondering what's at our feet, and oftentimes what is at our feet is sharks, and uh, that, I think that scares us a little bit, and the movie Jaws did not help. The great white shark is oftentimes a very solitary animal. They're very hard to track until recently with the advent of satellite technology. Uh, these guys are capable of swimming 25, 30 miles an hour, so they can move great distances. But this is the most studied shark in the world, and we really don't know where they're going to mate, where they're going to breed and, and pup. And this is important information so that we can protect these species. The great white sharks are listed as either threatened or endangered in every uh, area of the world that they live in. Mating in many shark species is often violent, with males biting the females to hold on. The sharks are not mindless. They can be fairly intelligent. I would equate that to you know, maybe a dog or a cat. They're certainly very hard to measure animal intelligence. Uh, scientists are still trying to decide what that really means. Uh, but my experience is they are able to learn fairly complicated trained behaviors. Um, and they're not eating machines. They're not out seeking human prey. So yes, they do have kind of a bad rap, uh, but I think that is slowly changing over time. This is the third installment of the Air Jaws series, and we've taken high definition, super speed cameras back to South Africa. We're able to look at these fantastic breach events where a thousand pound great white shark comes out of the water at 25 miles an hour to feed on seals and sea lions, and we're breaking that down into uh, a minute of footage over one second. So it's a uh, super slow motion, you get to see what's going on. If not mating, the sharks may be using the shallow water as a pit stop to rest and digest meals caught further offshore. I'm featured in a show, Day of the Shark. What we've taken is six shark attack survivors, looked at their stories, what might have led to an attack, and then we wrap up the week with Craig Ferguson, the host of a late night TV, and uh, he goes underwater with these 30 Caribbean reef sharks and kind of looks at some of the, the best shark bite stories we've had over the last 23 years. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, she's coming right up behind me. 